Hey everyone, welcome. Thanks for watching this video on how to change your blower motor on a 2009 Hyundai Accent. That's what this model is. Now you don't have to remove the glove box on this unit to get to the blower motor, which is located right down here. The only reason I did it is to give you a better access, better view of what is underneath here and what's going on. So, blower motor and squirrel cage. What was the customer's concern? On speeds one and two, had a squeaking noise. Worse when the vehicle was cold. Uh, this morning, as she was driving the vehicle, she also noted that she had a burning smell uh, on speed three. She shut the system down, left the fan off for the for a quick little drive to work there, and that was it. Called me up and said, "Hey, this is what's going on." I said, "Hey, I'll pick one up for you. This one comes with a squirrel cage, which is great. You don't have to change it out." There's your wire adapter. So to get access to this one, real easy. Like I said, you don't even have to remove the glove box. I already did. Two 10 millimeter bolts here and here for the glove box. Two little clips on the sides. Again, you don't have to remove it. I did it just for to show you what's going on. So you undo your wire connector right there. Now I've already got two of the three screws out. I'll grab it down here. And as you can see, there's the last screw. The light's not too blinding. Wait a second. I'm going to bit of a knock it. I'm going to just put the camera down. How's that? How's that? Mm -hmm. The motor's going to drop on the camera. There we go. That's where the blower motor mounts into. Obviously you can see that there. I'll take a quick look up in there as well, but now I'll take a look at this. Here at the same time. Making sure that it's identical to the old one. It is a little bit different. Oh, that, that's a bright light. There we go. Uh, you can see a couple of little differences to it. Uh, this one has the flexible air intake here. This one here is just molded right in. Three screws, three screws. Now this has got the wire coming out. This is factory. This one does not, but this just plugs in right there. It goes right back into place. Let's take a quick look underneath here. Just make sure that there's no debris, no leaves, anything like that stuck inside here. Put your hand up inside. Nothing. I'm going to show you a couple other things here while we're right here as well. If you have no fan speeds, if you lose speeds 1, 2, and 3, it's because of this unit right there. That's your blower motor resistor. If you have 1, 2, and 3 that are not working, Four is direct to the motor. It bypasses the blower motor resistor. Also another thing on this vehicle, it has a cabin air filter. There's a clip, there's a clip. I don't know if I can undo this with just my one hand though, because it's kind of sitting in there odd. And look at that. There isn't one in here. Well, that could be a reason why. Um, I would recommend having a cabin filter. Let's just get some light this way in here. I'd recommend having a cabin filter in there. Why? Because there's your hand. Everything falls into the blower motor. So, let's put this baby back in. And drop the light back here. I don't have my small little light, but this one will have to do. So, no big deal, right? I'll just move a few things around here. I got the noise on the camera. Hopefully that works. Really, this is like a 10 to 15 minute job, if that. You don't need any special tools. Just taking your time getting her done, right? I'm going to make sure that this lines up with that port over there. 
Here we go. Take your screw. Start up a hand. Let's grab your drill here. A little bit of an awkward spot, but not too bad. Nice and easy. There we go. Really does not take a lot of time for this blower motor to be installed. You can do this on your own. Now I picked up this motor. It was about 60 bucks. Right from our local parts store. I surely don't want to know what the dealership would be charging for something like this because this thing would probably be 130 to 150 bucks I'm thinking anyway and I just can't see the last hole from where I'm at no big deal we'll get that last one put in and then we'll hook up our wire harness for that so it was something that you can do in your own backyard like I said this is 15 20 minute job at, at most Again, I removed the glove box just for access for you guys, so pardon me. If you have any questions or concerns, <laughs> I just ate supper. And uh, I'm laying here on the, on the ground in my garage. If you've got any questions, comments, leave them. This is uh, something straightforward, something you can do in your backyard. Take your time, get it done. Thanks for watching.